coronavirus pandemic has taken all of us out of our comfort zones and out of our normal routines. That's right. Fear and isolation can emerge as a result, which leads to more stress and anxiety. Dr. Cheyenne Bryan is a psychologist and a life coach, and she's helping us navigate this unprecedented time with ways to manage all of the uncertainty. Good morning, Cheyenne. Good morning. Thank yeah. you for having me. Absolutely. Happy Wednesday. Thank you. Happy thank Wednesday. you. You know, we've been through, I think we can say every single emotion during this time. Oh, yeah. I know at times I have felt shattered and overwhelmed, and then I felt like a superwoman filled with hope. You've mentioned staying visible during this pandemic. How do we keep from getting lost in our fears, our anxiety, and isolation? That's a great uh, question. And the thing is, you know, we have to make sure that we are staying connected. People who are experiencing any type of mental health issues in regard to anxiety or depression, they are already anxiety prone. Um, this pandemic can increase that anxiety, those anxiety levels. And so it's important to stay connected. What do I mean by stay connected? You know, get you an accountability text partner. Um, what is that? That's someone who you designate that you will text message um, exchange all throughout the day, or at least in the morning, something very positive. Because I always say what God moves through you, God gives through you gives to you. And so you have a partner that you text in the morning saying, hey, good morning. You know, I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. You know, or maybe in the evening saying, hey, just checking in on you. Just want to make sure that your day is going awesome. And I hope today blows your mind. I hope all the positivity that you can possibly receive pours in on you. These things are very, very important because in times like this, people tend to isolate. And what isolation does, it breeds depression, um, it breeds suicidal ideations, and then obviously that turns into things such as mental health issues and concerns that become a lot more challenging to deal with in times like this when people are isolated from their family and from their friends and things that are usually normal for them. And Another thing is, I always go ahead. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but uh, Doctor, okay. you, you brought up about having the accountability partner, but you also said to commit to empowering engagements. You know, we do find ourselves at home, more time on our hands, and then you can you can get down that rabbit hole and kind of waste a lot of time. How important is it to find those empowering engagements, and and what do the, what do you mean by that exactly? Oh, it is absolutely pivotal in, in times like this. And I always say, you know, the things that I offer are not just to implement in your world during the pandemic, but also these are things that should become a lifestyle. Being involved with virtual empowering engagements. For example, I offer a free COVID-19 group life coaching session every Monday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, where we provide, where I provide a support group for folks who are going through anything that is COVID-19 related, or maybe something that may have they have been going through prior to the pandemic that they just need to process. And that group is extremely supportive. We have people on that call that are from everywhere across the world. We have New Zealand, we have Brazil, we have people from Spain, yeah. from different states. And the main thing for them is that they are able to get on this call and understand that they are not alone. They're not the only ones that are experiencing the isolation. And you'd be surprised at how many single folks get on that call and they're saying, you know, I, I know I always knew I was single, but it wasn't until the pandemic that it really started to sit in with me, right. this thing of loneliness. Yeah. And that's real. Loneliness is real. And so to make sure you're being involved with those engaging things that are empowering to you, and most importantly, make sure that you are also being empowering to others yeah. so that you get to share that exchange yeah. with people. Cheyenne, I want to ask you about self-care because, you know, with the kiddos and homeschooling and then some people are working, uh, most days it's hard to just take a shower, get dressed, and uh, do something for yourself and make your own coffee. Uh, but how important is it to really just take a couple minutes a day for yourself to you know, hold on to a little bit of that hope and normalcy? Absolutely. I am the self-care advocate. I believe that we produce who we are. And if we don't have care that we implement within ourselves, we can't produce that in the relationships that we engage with and the, the people that we are interacting with. And so I always say, whatever you do, make sure you are doing it 100% and you are fully present. And so when I say, you know, self-care, I mean, make sure that you're still getting dressed three, four times out of the week. Mm -hmm. I mean, whatever you have to do to make yeah. yourself feel beautiful and dolled up and empowered and handsome and gorgeous, those things are important. You know, there's two ways that you, you do the feel good facts. There's an inside out and an outside in, but guess what? They're married. So either way, they both have to be done. Mm -hmm. If you're just only engaging in empowering virtual uh, zoom happy hours and, and zoom engagements, right? Mm -hmm. But you're not making sure the external is taken care of, right. then you're still at an imbalance. They both have to be complete 
for you to be whole and for you to have a successful balance of the feel good thing I like to call self care. All right, Dr. Cheyenne Bryan, <laughs> thank you so much for your guidance and thank you for your positivity. Yeah. We appreciate you joining us this morning. You got it. Thank you so much for having me and stay safe and have an absolutely amazing day. Thank you. Me We're going to work thank on you. all your advice.